Well, uh, Talcott Parsons introduced his concept of sick row in his book, The Social System. And uh, he developed a complex functionalist model of society, uh, including analysis of functional medicine and a role of sick person in relation to the social system within which that person lived. So let's study a uh, sick role. A sick role is considered to uh, comprise uh, four basic aspects. The sick person, first of all, two rights. The sick person uh, is, is exempt from normal social roles. Uh, and uh, that exception depends on severity of condition and approval by a physician. Second right is that a uh, sick person uh, of sick role is not responsible for his or her condition. The illness is beyond a person's control and help is needed in order to get better. There are also two uh, responsibilities. First, the sick person should try to get well. Sickness should be viewed as undesirable by the individual. An exemption from roles and responsibility for illness is conditional on the obligation to get well. Number four, second uh, responsibility. Sick person or persons uh, assuming sick role should uh, seek technically competent help and cooperate with the physician. Well, the sick role also defines patterned expectations of behavior for the patient-physician relationship. The physician should work to retain, retain or return the sick person to a normal state of function. And physicians should, uh, excuse me, hold greater power in the relationship. This allows them to exert leverage over the patient to encourage compliance with medical procedures. Okay. So let's get into uh, the physician-patient role relationship uh, in more details. First, the relationship should be therapeutic. Therapeutic. Uh, according to the sick role theory, all right, uh, not necessarily that describes the reality or that is what should be done. Uh, for example, um, in our real lives, uh, sometimes relationship is prevented, right? Not therapeutic, uh, treatment oriented. And according to sick role theory, the physician exercised leverage through a uh, cu couple factors. First is professional prestige. Second is situational authority. So in the doctor's office, on a one-to-one uh, -one, uh, you know, uh, basis. And also the situational dependency of the patient. Well, Physicians uh, general act as gatekeepers. Okay. Well, uh, where is this theory? Also comes <clears throat> and criticisms. It comes with criticism of the sick role. Uh, the sick role is a uh, theory is devised for uh, middle class white Americans. Okay. It does not account for, for example, behavioral variation. Uh, for example, uh, Twaddle in 1969 describes seven variations of sick role. Okay. And Parsons' version is more applicable to Jews than to Protestants or Italian Catholics, for example. And Borowski notes group differences in response to pain too that Jews and Italians more sensitive to pain compared to old Americans. And setting matter for expression of pain, like hospital versus home, right? And attitudes towards pain also vary across groups. Criticism number two, it does not account for a type of disease. And uh, sick role theory only applies to uh, acute disease, which are generally temporary and overcome uh, with the physician's help. And the chronic disease do not fit model very well since they are incurable and exemption from social roles is not feasible, right? It's gonna be long-term. Third, a sick role theory does not account for variations in the patient-physician relationship. 
the relationship uh, changes depending on setting, right? Doctor's private office, then there is this, uh, you know, uh, power structure, very clear power structure, as opposed to, let's say, team approach in hospital. Uh, then the sick role, uh, scenarios and dyna dynamism described in sick role, uh, largely weakened. And preventative care requires different approach as opposed to therapeutic, okay. described here. Number four, uh, sick world does not apply well to low class patients. Uh, it describes mostly a middle-class pattern of behavior and exemption from social roles, not always possible for poor, despite illness, right? Uh, well, despite its limitations, Parsons' concept of sick role can be viewed as an ideal type of model, okay? So like uh, conflict theory, functionalism. They're all ideal uh, kind of narratives about our society. Not necessarily author, author, subscribe to uh, these theories. 